Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we will learn to use a Selenium MCP server with the cloud. So let's begin. Nowadays we are hearing so much around the MCP servers. So MCP here is basically a model context protocol and in today's session we will be talking about Selenium MCP. You might be using the Selenium on a daily basis but you might not be aware of the Selenium MCP servers. Now this MCP server is basically being developed by NG Jones and this is the github link for this one so you need to go to the google search for selenium mcp and ensure that you can land on this one now uh, you need to scroll down here and you see that our model context protocol server implementation for the selenium web driver enabling browser automation through the standard mcp clients okay so you can look into this video uh, just click on this one and what are the features of this MCP is basically you can start the browser sessions with the customizable options, navigate to the URLs, find the elements, click, type, interact with the elements, perform mouse actions, handle keyboard input, take a screenshot, upload files, supported for the headless mode as well. And in terms of the browsers, so basically it's supported with the Chrome and Firefox. Now in order to use this one, you can use rules or what you can do is that you can use this this particular configuration which you can use with the cloud okay so as we are using the cloud so we'll be using this particular configuration okay now here if you look into this particular configuration you see that the command is npx so npx is basically node package executor this means that you should have the node on your system at first place okay so for that you need to go to your command prompt and just ensure that you have node so type node dash dash version and you see that i have this node version in case if you don't have a node just go to the google and search for download node and download and install the node for your operating system so once you're done just confirm from the command prompt that node is installed successfully and then the second thing is that you need a cloud okay so cloud desktop you need right so again go to the cloud website download the cloud desktop version okay and once you're downloaded so just run the cloud desktop app now this is a cloud desktop version and you need to sign up for this one log in into your cloud account and once you are done with this what you need to do is that you need to go back here copy this configuration from here and again go back to the cloud and here just go to this hamburger over here go to file then go to settings go to developer and just click on added configuration so it will take you to the directory inside your operating system so you need to add this configuration file this is basically a JSON file and once this file will be open, so what I'll do is that simply paste this over here and save this one. So once I will save this one, I'll close from here. And now what you need to do is that you need to exit this one so that it can take effect. You see that there's some file changes happen over here. And now again, run Claude. So you need to run the cloud desktop app again. And now again, go back to this hamburger, go to file, go to settings and go to developer. Now, this time you see that you have Selenium MCP server configured and it's running right now. Okay. So what now we will do is that let's go to chat and here what we will do is that instead of writing the Selenium script from the scratch, we will just give a command and you will see that this action being taken so you will see the execution as well so for example for this tutorial i am using on an hrm website so if i go back to the browser so you will see that so basically we will be using this on an hrm website okay so go back to the cloud and say open chrome browser so now previously what we will do is that we will be doing a chat it's not a chat you will see something in action 
So when I provide this command, you will see that it will interact with the MCP server and then it will actually open the browser. You see that it actually opened the browser for us, right? And on the back end, if I see you, so basically it's referring to the commands. So, so browser requests create a browser session for us and like open orange HRM demo website. Okay. Inside the browser. So it will open our channel inside the browser, right? So it might take some permissions. Uh, so you need to provide a permission. You see that it's actually opened the website. Now, as an automation tester, what we need to do is that we need some assertions, right? So what I will say, uh, we need some assertions. So let me resize this one so that we can see some actions happening over here. So now, Aside that page is loaded successfully and it has information about username and password. So because as automation tester, we just don't want to automate the page. We need assertions, right? Do you see that? Identifying the elements, finding the elements which you are writing as a part of automation script. So it's getting the element now. So finding the element, getting the element, everything in action. Just not providing the script. Actual thing is happening right now. So basically, here is the one. And once you will see that page is loaded successfully, username field, input field found, this is found, label is visible, label is visible. Okay, that's great. Now, provide username and password and finally click on login button. And now you will see that it will actually perform that action for you. Okay, again, you see that these send keys and all the things which we use in the Selenium. Now you see that action. So you see that it's actually providing the username and password in the fields and logging into the system. Now I will say assert that dashboard is loaded. Okay, so let me correct the spellings. So it will now assert that the dashboard is being loaded. So it will check that dashboard is loaded successfully by looking for the key dashboard elements. So identifying the key elements, finding the elements, getting that elements. And here you see, see that it's getting the text from this particular. So which is a text dashboard. So and based on that, it will provide the sessions for us. Okay. So in case if there's some problem, it will try again. Right. So here's a response for this one. So it's working. It's not just providing you a text formatted just like a chatbot. It's doing our actions for you. So I can confirm that the online chat dashboard has loaded properly. And now finally I will say, okay, now click on logout. Okay. So now it will click on the logout it, it finds a logout right so but the point here is that just providing simple english language commands and it is doing rest for you identifying the elements performing the actions putting the assertions okay and once it will do this you see that it's identify the logout and it's clicking on that element for this one right in case there's some issue you will see the error here on the cloud. Okay. So, but it successfully identified that where's the logout and it clicked on the logout button and logged out successfully. And now close the browser. Right, close the browser. So, it will now close the browser. And as you see that we have executed uh, this one. On the Chrome, now 
it has a context right we have a whole scenario just executed through this one so what i'll do is that i will ask okay uh run same uh same script or same script on firefox browser okay now it will we don't need to provide all it is like you need to open the browser you need to assert the things the same script will be executed so it will open the firefox browser it will go to the rhn website and then it will go uh, identify the animals you see that it's going to rhn website it will assert the values it will provide the username and password we can log in again assert the dashboards it will because it has the context so model context protocol means that now it has a context okay so besides that once you have done these things and everything so what you need to do is that simply this you say it's executing everything we are we are not providing anything right exactly what we did with the chrome with that similar steps so you don't need to write the separate scripts right and again we are not providing any code over here okay we are just providing simple instructions and rest is being taken care by cloud and simium mcp server okay and once it will turn what i will do is that obviously you might need a script for this one so that you can run that script or modify that script as per your requirement maybe in your existing framework right so you can also do that right so let's it complete first and then what i'll do is that now share complete for example if you are working with selenium python fire test script for above so this is how simple it is to work with the mcp servers right now you have this script so you can use this script in your existing framework so you don't need to write everything from the scratch you're just providing the instructions okay go to this page go click on this one provide the username and password log out assertions everything right it's just like recording something and based on that you will get the script just like any record and play right but here we are working with the cloud so we can fix the code we can debug the code we can write the functions using the cloud so there are a lot of things which we can do using the cloud the power of cloud right it's the power of ai basically so that's why it's more powerful than using any id right that's that's the reason so once you have a script you can utilize your data script in your automation frameworks you can uh, if you are starting from the very scratch so obviously you can ask the cloud to have a uh, you know structure for your framework like for example if you want to use selenium with python by test and you want to use pay up in order design pattern so so based on that it will create a structure for you and based on that structure you can just move this code over there and start automating right so here you are not writing even a single line of code everything is being done with using the cloud and mcp server right so it's taking some time but eventually uh it will provide you the complete code because it executed the code on the firefox and then it executed the code on the chrome so eventually it will provide you all the code and in a similar way if you want to use a playwright uh, mcp server or any other mcp server just have a configuration from their official repos or the official websites and this is how simple it is simply go here go to the file go to the settings and go to the developer and you can edit the configuration file and add the required server and then the most important thing is that you need to exit this one to make these configuration ineffective so make them effective so basically you need to exit and log in again 
this is taking some time but eventually uh, it will provide the code so let me stop the cloud and let me see provide and then let me write the command again provide selenium python code for above scenario okay so eventually it will provide the code and you can utilize the code so you see that um, again the whole code is being there class skate in the class base url username password timeout pi test everything every code and you can simply download as python file right so just download and use them as it is in your scheme so in some cases you might need to do some customization you can do as per your context and existing framework but most of your work has been done using this mcp server and the cloud integration right and again it's 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 not just providing your code over here the the power and the beauty of cloud is that cloud is telling you the how to set up these things so pip install this command then the key features of this one supports both firefox and chrome right because we executed uh, the script on both firefox and chrome then run the same test on both browser clean and separation of test logic page of your elements comprehensive assertions error handling detail uh, logging test coverage main flow is navigate to order some demo verify login page elements because we were doing the verifications right then perform login with the demo credentials verify dashboard blue successfully then perform logout and verify return to the login page right so even it's telling us what we have done in terms of the test coverage right and then how to run your scripts if you don't know how to run this script so god is telling you how to run this one you see that everything assertions printing logging you see that assert right here you know printing the values just to show that okay this is happening correctly right so that's how you can work with Selenium MCP server and plot.